I thank you now. God, I give you glory. God, I give you glory. I am telling you, I am expecting a move of God that I have never seen in my life. I have literally, I've literally seen people get up out of wheelchairs, cripple people walk in the middle of a service. I've seen that. I've seen it. And, and God said to me, daughter, if you set the atmosphere and invite me in. See, sometimes God doesn't show up, not because he didn't want to show up, but he's a, he's a gentleman. He's not going to bombard us and come in and, and do things that we don't want him to do. But somebody, I pray right now that they're hungry and they're thirsty. And they're saying, God, I'm coming because I need something from you. And God began to show me, he said, daughter, go after your daughters. And what he meant by that was, he said, every woman that has been connected to you, that has walked away from me, I want you to fight for her. God, I thank you. He said, fight for her fight for and I was and the day that God spoke that to me I was like but God who fighting for me who's crying out for me because I was going through my own little emotional breakdown moment at, at, at that day and he said but if you fight for her I'll fight for you and I begin to call out young women's name I begin to call their name out as God begin to give me their name and I begin to call their name out and I said Satan the Lord rebuke you you're loosing her today. You will not have her. And then he said, call her name out. And as you're listening to me right now, I want you to begin to call out. Call out your friend's name that have walked away from God. There are so many people that have walked away from God in this pandemic. And they have picked back up their old, the old man. And they have picked back up their old ways. Things that they had stopped doing during this pandemic, they are going back to drinking. They are going back to cursing. They are going back to lying. They are going back to fornicating. They are going back to their wicked ways. And they knew that God had delivered them. But in the midst of this pandemic and in the midst of their pain, they have gone back to their past. And God began to decree and declare to me. He said, fight for her daughter. Fight for her. Fight for her. And I begin to call their name out. And I'm telling you today, we are fighting for you. We're not giving up on you. We are not giving you over to the devil. I don't care what you're doing today. Watch this. Nothing you have done today will cancel out what God is about to do for you tomorrow. Nothing you have done today will cancel out what God is getting ready to do for you tomorrow. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Some of you feel like, well, Dr. K. Park, you don't know what I've done. You don't know how bad. Oh, I'm in this adulterous affair. And there, there, there were people God started showing me that wasn't just in fornicating. They were in um, uh, adulterous affairs. And I began to see it. And he said, call her out of it. <laughs> Call her out of it. And when I bring her out of it, act, treat her and love her like she was never in it. See, sometimes we don't, we don't, we don't let people live 